The more unique a project is, the longer the preparation phase lasts. The experts at Prangle were first contacted by Kenda Elektricitets AG back in mid-2005. A route survey was performed in order to determine what options were available for transporting power plant components up to the Multala Glacier. All of the required changes were identified during several surveys and inspections on location. Roughly two years later, following the necessary adaptations, the first test run was performed with a mock-up of the oversized cargo in order to verify that all of the passages and curves were large enough to accommodate the heavy haul. Finally, in August of 2008, the time had come. The first real heavy haul was ready to be executed. The core of the whole project was the transport of the Stato housing, which weighed in at 90 tons and measured 4.55 meters in width and 3.90 meters in height. The loading point was in Burr, Switzerland. Because the total trailing weight came to nearly 147 tons at a length of 33 meters, the Swiss authorities required a push truck to be used for the entire route through Switzerland. Additional efforts were required in Austria as well. The structural integrity of all the bridges in Carinthia had to be tested before it was possible to even consider performing this heavy haul. Because the vehicle would have been too long for the ascent up the mountains, the transport equipment had to be altered. The excavator deck of the transporter truck was retrofitted onto a shorter low loader. This was the only way that the vehicle was able to make it through the tight curves of the 5km mountain road. The Stator housing was moved onto a so-called elephant's feet so that it could then be carefully mounted on the shortened transporter rig again. For the Feltse pump storage station, the two existing storage plants, Feltse at an elevation of 2,220 meters above sea level and Verten at an elevation of 1,700 meters, were connected with one another via an underground works water channel. The extension was completed in two phases. Due to its successful initial operation in 2008, Prangle was commissioned as the exclusive partner for the second phase as well. During the initial operation, the Stato housing and transformer had to be transported all the way up to an elevation of 1,700 meters above sea level. The whole process was then repeated in 2010.
The extreme transport heights of up to 4.81 meters required maximum concentration and awareness from everyone involved, especially during the two tunnel passages. The well-rehearsed team consisted of the driver, the escorts and the banksmen and passed even this highly precise challenge with flying colors. These types of special projects impressively demonstrate that you have to rely on a strong partner. The secret behind the successful and flawless execution of this project was without a doubt the early involvement of the experts at Prangle. This was the only way to ensure that everyone involved had the same level of knowledge from the start and that no important information went uncommunicated due to interfaces that arose later on in the process. The construction of the Feltse pump storage station was an important step in the increased use of renewable energy sources. The power plant will make an important contribution to meeting Corinthia's rising demand for electricity and securing Corinthia's power supply into the future. When it's complete, the Feltse pump storage station will have a capacity of 140 megawatts, which means that it will generate roughly 300 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year. The plant will make it possible to quickly compensate for fluctuations in both demand and production in the future. <laughs> 